that. So, wait till people come. They'll call, they'll hop on here in a little bit. <laughs> hey, everybody! I know people probably um, ain't hopped on just yet, but for the replay, um, for sake of replay, I'll go ahead and get started and what tell y'all what we're gonna be doing. We're going to be making homemade. There's mom. She's with me. I'm going to be flipping the phone around. Kenzie's actually going to video me and mom together. We're going to be making y'all old-fashioned peanut butter candy. Now, some people call it fudge, but when we were growing up, we didn't call it fudge, did we, mom? No. We called it peanut butter candy. Now, this don't this don't have marshmallow cream in it. Um, it's just old-fashioned kind of... Um, bold. It's bold, and it's going to be kind of... Mommy calls it brittly. Mom likes it a little crumbly. Yeah, so, it's um, good. We haven't made this in a long time, so maybe it might, it might turn out or it might not, but it's still good. When we were growing up, whether it turned out or not, it was always good. We'd eat it, whether it was uh, um, sticky or whether it was crumbly, it was always good. And uh, so I'm going to flip the, the phone around, and, I'll, and Kenzie's going to video Mom and I together, and we're going to make it together. She's going to help me, and I'm going to help her. Um... So if y'all share the video, I appreciate it. Tell me where you're from. Kenzie's going to be uh, videoing, so the sound may change once it flips. Uh, Mom doesn't talk very loud. She she can only talk so loud anyway. But Mom wears oxygen, so if you don't hear her, that's you know it, that's why. Um, and um, but um, we'll do our best. But Mom's excited. Mom likes to oh, do yes, these. Yes. Yeah, thank you all. Hey, we got people from Louisville already. Now, um, when Kenzie, I'm giving it to her, and I will read off the recipe. I will share this recipe in the album section. So if you go on this page, you go you go and you scroll at the top, and you see albums. Um, that's and you see the one that's titled recipes. That's usually where I post recipes. Okay, so thank you all for sharing. So I'll give it to Kenzie. Hi. <laughs> I always hate this because I can't. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. So, th this is sugar, two cups of sugar, and I don't have the heat on yet. Okay. But let me tell y'all what's in this. This is um, peanut butter candy, or we called it candy growing up. We didn't call it fudge. But it's, it's two cups of sugar, a half a cup of milk. Now, when we say milk, we use cream, yeah, evaporated milk. milk. Yeah. All, we always made our candy out of canned milk. Um, but if you don't have evaporated milk, use whole milk, okay? Three tablespoons of light corn syrup, three tablespoons of butter, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter. So when you first make it, you're going to put your sugar in a saucepan. This is two cups. And let me get the vanilla out in case we need it because I know we will. <laughs> I'm going to get the vanilla. And we're going to make this. We don't have candy thermometer. We're going to make it using ice water. We're going to, if you have a candy thermometer, you're going to boil this to 234 degrees. Or maybe a little more if you want it a little more brickly. Um, but we never had candy thermometers. No, we always like to make a bomb. Yeah. A boo out of it and we take it sticky kind and eat it. it yeah. So good. Yeah. <laughs> But we always, we did it with water, is just take a little bit of it and put it uh, in water till you get a softball stage. So, Mom put that milk in there. There's your two cups of sugar. Then you want to put the milk together. And she's going to stir it. Now I'm going to turn the heat on, and you got to start it out medium. This kind of takes a little bit. It ain't, the hardest part is getting it to come up to a bowl. You know, and the best part about it is it, when you take it out and it don't get all the way hard, yeah. you get what you call yummy candy. <laughs> yummy candy, yeah. Yeah. We always like that kind. All right. Let me put that out of the way. Oh, help mommy work. So, y'all, this is your dish. This is an 8x8 eight eight buttered dish. I like using glass. I prefer glass. Um, but you want to make sure this is buttered or you can line it with foil or wax paper if you wanted. We always just butter, butter it. I'm going to set here, set that over here on the side. Now, as you can see, you have to stir this, you all. Um, 
pretty much constantly. Now, when we get it off the heat, you're gonna add, this is um, three tablespoons of butter. This is salted butter, but you can use unsalted. This is just what mom and them has. It really don't matter, as long as you use real butter. Then our peanut butter is creamy. This is two heaping tablespoons. I don't know what that equals as far as cups. It's gotta be like half a cup. Uh, it's, it's probably about a cup. All right, hold, yeah. yeah. It takes a good amount. So in, let me put this right here. Now you're gonna put you three tablespoons of corn syrup. Now it goes in here. So while mom's stirring, I do it like, this is how I always do corn syrup. If it says three tablespoons, this is how I do it. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> when any kind of recipe calls for corn syrup, that's pretty much how I do it. This is medium heat. Y'all say howdy when you get on. Where are you originally? Look familiar. Yeah, we're from Letcher County. We were raised on Sand Lake. Mom, remember we'd make this now we used to make, we used to get together and make quilts oh, yes. and play games in the winter time. So we really didn't make this, didn't make candy much during the summer. We was always busy doing something. We was never in the house. Patty's watching. She says she needs some. Oh, <laughs> hey, Pat, Patty Prophet. Yeah. Oh, yes. She wants some. Patty, That y'all, I got cousins on here watching. Uh, my Aunt Aileen watches. She's been making... She made the fudge the other day. Patty's my cousin. We got people from Texas. Hey, Pam. Mom, you got somebody watching you from Texas. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> my Addy. Another Letcher County. Yeah. If you're from Letcher County, tell us so we can see you. Now, y'all, you, mommy's sister ain't, we, uh, we called her Aunt Patty. Mommy's baby sister was really the candy maker in our family. Yeah. What she mom? She made it. Mom didn't make a lot of candy. We, uh, I always stood around and watch. Yeah, but <laughs> Patty, our aunt Patty, was our candy maker. She and, could uh, make it good. She and she, uh, she taught all us girls pretty much to make candy, didn't you, Mom? Yes, yeah, she was always good at it. Yeah. Now baking and cooking, I think it's it takes two different kind of skills. I think. Yeah. Now, Mommy's mother was a baker. She like, mom, Mommy's mother, Ellie, Ellie Sizemore was her name. I'm mm -hmm. named after her. My first name is Ella. Um, Mamma cooked, I, um, made a lot of baking stuff. She baked a lot. I remember watching her. Yeah, she can make. Yeah, and when I was little, I stayed with Mamma a lot. And, um, and it, we stayed with Mamma at night after Papa died. Mamma had a sweet tooth, remember? Yeah, she did. <laughs> so I remember her saying, "Missy, get up and let's make me some. Let's make some candy." She when she said, "Let's make some candy," I was probably the one in. I <laughs> ended up making it. Yeah. But she she loved. Um, <clears throat> Memo liked candy. Then were the good days. Yeah. People don't even take time to do that. These yeah. Times today. But in the winter time, we have, we we get snowed in because we lived up in the holler, and. Uh, Daddy had four wheel drive. Dad would get in and out, but most time we stayed house because um, it we was always walk. yeah, or we walked. Get out walk. Our cousins would come over and we'd all go sleigh riding, or we call it sleigh riding or sledding. Ride big shovels. Yeah, we'd ride <laughs> shovels, and in the winter time, this was a treat for us. Usually our aunt Patty would make us some candy, or Mamma, Mamma would make some, and we'd all come in on break from playing outside and we'd have homemade candy. It was so good, so good. Yeah. Now y'all, you don't, you gotta bring this to a boil and you don't start timing it until that. This don't count. Not doing much. <laughs> yeah. It don't it's starting like... to heat up. I might need to turn it yours. Doesn't look nice. I, and I raised it up just a little. It's melting now. If you get it tired, I'll help you. Mom's like me, she's got a little bit of that carpal tunnel Someone wants to know how long you cook it. Well, well that oh. varies. That's what, that varies. Um, you can turn it on high. Yeah, if you turn it on high, it'll scorch real fast. Scorch, and then it would be good. If you want, okay. 
just if you want to use a candy thermometer boil it until it reaches 234 degrees on your candy thermometer if you're boiling it like us by eyeball we have to get us one of them. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do the ice water method i'm gonna do the softball method but ideally honestly it's probably going to take about five minutes once it starts boil into a rolling bowl and i did turn it up a little yeah glenda they're making peanut butter fudge yeah now so when we was growing up the reason i titled this candy because <laughs> that's really what we called it we were raising southeast kentucky and that we're appalachian and um a lot of terms people refer to things different than they do even up yeah, here yeah. we live in northern kentucky now and even from one end of Kentucky to the other, people, Are it's different. funny how people say things different. We got someone watching from Germany. Hey, <laughs> howdy. From and then um, somebody wants to know what's in there right now. They missed okay. the beginning. Two cups of sugar and what's on that paper there, Kenz? Half a cup of evaporated milk. Here's the recipe. Y'all can screenshot that. Yeah. And Real three fast. tablespoons of corn syrup is what's in the cooker. You don't add the rest until it comes off the heat. Now this does take more work. I do have a recipe I'm gonna share with you all that requires no cooking. And, but I get a lot of people asking about the old timey kind and mommy likes this kind. Someone else wants to know if you have this version of the chocolate. Yes, I made it. It's, it should be down on my videos. If you go and look on the videos, I made this version of chocolate the other day. Same story. Same it's the same, yeah. yeah. And recipes. if you go into my album section under recipes, it's called Old Fashioned Chocolate Fudge. That is this, that's the chocolate version of this. You getting tired, Mom? No. You want me to help? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, it's about the bowl. But you do have to stir this constantly. Yeah. You have to have patience. You got to have patience. <laughs> yeah. I remember when we was little, we didn't. We used to want it really quick. That's reason they come up with that uh, gooey kind. The gooey, yeah, yeah the quick that's kind. That's my favorite. I like it. I too. like it better that way. The gooey, than gooey after gooey it's set, yeah. yeah. They don't get hard. Yeah, yeah. I always love. Now that, that I made the other day was the gooey. Was kind. like that, yeah. Yeah, I, there's two different. Now I made one the other day. If you go, y'all go look on my videos. I made a chocolate pecan fudge. It's more of the creamy kind that you like go down in Gatlinburg or somewhere and buy. Mm -hmm. But I ain't a bragging or nothing, but my husband says mine's better. Yeah. That's good. Well, I'll tell you why I think mine tastes better. Because maybe it's love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe it's love. Cause, I mean, you are using, I don't know what they use in them places. A lot of them places have recipes. Well, also but, smaller batches. Yeah. yeah makes I a big difference. Smaller batches. Yeah. yeah. So I do, I do have a few, and I have pinwheels that you all can go and look old-fashioned pinwheels that we didn't we didn't call them uh peanut butter candy either, uh tater candy either we called them old-fashioned pinwheels mom's sister my aunt patty taught us how to make candy um and that's what she made too so a lot of this stuff is just and i'm gonna tell you all for years we didn't use recipes uh these this recipe is just something that i jotted down for you all but this is basically my aunt patty made everything by memory and a lot of the things I've cooked through the years, I just make it all in my head. Yeah. Glenda said if it's a rainy day, she can't get hers to fully set. This? Uh, yeah. Really? No. <laughs> now, Divinity is... She's got a different one. Maybe, I don't know. Some different kinds may. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. that's evaporated milk. Yeah, not that sweet is. sweet and condensed. No, do not use sweet and condensed milk. Not in this. Uh, we call this cream. We call evaporated milk cream. So that's what's in that. Someone said that they're a size more from the hills of Kentucky, and the way y'all talk sounds just like her mama. Oh yeah, that's well, mommy. She's a, a size more. Yeah, mommy's maiden name is Size More. She's a Fields. I'm half Fields, half Size More, and I'm married to Jones. My husband's family's from Barbersville, and little Miss Kenzie over here is half Fields and half what Jones. Jones. Down in Leslie County, they're. They said Ewans is. Yeah, you yeah. Well, We said you all. We said y'all are, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, somebody is asking about your pot. They want to know if you have glass lids. 
Lord, I don't know. I don't know. Mom's had that for years. She said, that pot that she is using, I haven't saw one of those in years. My mama had a set of those, and they cook good and last forever. Oh, they do. Yeah. She wanted to know if yours had a glass lid. I probably don't, Tim. I believe I bought it at a flea market. Mom, <laughs> Mom could always find the best stuff. Now, we've got a lot of old stuff. All right, it's starting to boil. Now yeah. we're watching it. It's 434. I'm going to give it to about 440. And we're going to check it. 439 to make five minutes. Everyone's saying they can't ever get theirs to set on rainy days. Huh, I never heard I of that. Never did. Maybe if you if it is rainy, this is what I suggest cooking it longer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, the humidity actually may, but we never did um, no problem. embroidering. How long will it boil? Okay. Yeah, about five minutes. Mom, this, you know, this probably did have a lid at one time. Probably. But now they don't make cookers like this. Yeah, it's much. heavy. It's it's a good one. It's the best kind for this kind of stuff. Um, we deep fried catfish in this back in the summer. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a heavy one. I like to have a bigger one like yeah. this. Yeah. I would too. And I'll tell y'all another trick. When you're boiling candy like this and you're stirring it, you can feel it get thicker and it'll right. turn. It'll turn darker. Right now it's very light. Uh, it'll turn like a caramel color. Mm. And that's what you want. And you'll start smelling it too. Because the sugar will start. Maybe you'll get sugar. that. Yeah, that burnt smell. It ain't really ain't burnt. Caramel is. Yeah. You get tired. Let me know. And Mommy's a stirring. Um, Sharon, she has an album called Recipes. And yes. that's where she shares them all. So if you just go to photos and then like the albums, it should be under recipes. I ain't got it uploaded yet, but but yeah, not for this one yet. Yeah. I usually after I do a video, then I usually post them. Yeah. Yeah. I know this is lives. It's just going a little longer, but a lot of people like to watch something from beginning to the end, and. um and I know y'all been wanting to see Mommy again. Mommy said, I asked her the other day what she wanted to do. And she said, let's make some candy. So, they had to start popping. You got to watch. That stuff will, Mommy always. Burn you up. Now, when we was young, I remember when I was learning to make this, Mommy would always stand over me. She's always scared I'd get burnt. <laughs> and even, now, Kenzie likes to cook. But now, she, even this kind of candy, I'm really, I help. I always watch her because it takes yeah. it takes some experience. It takes the hide off of yeah, you. Yeah, it will take the hide off of you. It's a hurt, um, yeah. It takes some experience when you're doing this kind of cooking to not get burnt. And I've learned my lesson through the years. A lot of things <laughs> getting burnt, uh, getting grease popped out on me. But candy will absolutely burn it will you burn good. you bad. It will because it's hot good. sugar. It's it's getting thicker. Now, you see it's getting thick and bubbly, and see? it is starting to turn, see? and I'm watching the clock. Two more minutes, I'm going to check it. I'll check it with the ice water. Now, this is ice water. It's ideally get, get your water out of your tap, put you some ice in there, and let that set while your candies are cooking. That's going to be about the right temperature to check for softball stage. People are requesting that I make something in the next video. Oh, good. She's a little cook. <laughs> I wanted to the other day because I made some fajitas, but we didn't really have time. Candy makes, she makes a good, she makes a, uh, she fixed supper for us this week. She made Southwest quinoa. We love quinoa. And uh, we're foodies. We like to make different kind of food. So, and she can bake too. So she definitely will. And then uh, some people are asking for a recap. About what's in okay. there and stuff. This is two cups of sugar, regular sugar. It's a half a cup of evaporated milk, or you can use whole milk if you want. We call it cream, but that's, and it's three tablespoons of light corn syrup that's boiling right now. And look at that. One more. Uh, she has, she showed the recipe in the beginning. So when we're done with this, if you just like go back, you can take a screenshot of it or find it. But she also said that. She has an album called Recipes, so when we're done with this, she'll take a picture yeah. of this and just put it in there, and you can go find yeah. it. I will put it in the album section under Recipes when we're done. 
Well, we don't have a candy thermometer, so that's why we're yeah. using. Yeah, I don't. This is actually candy. how we were taught to make it. Yeah. I wasn't. I never did have a candy thermometer until probably about five years ago, and the one I had, I ended up breaking. I ain't never bought one back. But Roger uses thermometers because we do barbecuing and we uh, Could we you smoke use that? meat. No, it's not the same. So. You have to have a candy thermometer. So look at that. It's turning pretty yeah, it's and caramely. All right. Yeah. We'll check it. What I'm doing now, I'm just taking my spoon. Look. This is how. I'll put a little more in there. Be careful, it gets so hard, but can't get it out of the kettle. Yeah, it'll start. Let me show you all. See, See that on the bottom? What I do is I pour a little of the water out. Yeah. Woo! I spilled some. <laughs> It's ready, Mom. Turn the water. Let me show them. Look, you all. See that? See that? Careful, it gets too hard. We can't get down. Careful. That's how you know. You can take it off. Yeah. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. It's candy now. You know how they choose their ingredients. Butter. This is where you put your butter in. And your peanut butter. She's gonna let me stir it now. Yeah. Don't be careful. Okay. Okay. Wash the water, Mom. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. And your vanilla. This is when you. It's so good. I oh, smell yeah. it. So I know. Good. I'm excited. Watch it, Mom. Okay. Now you can smell it. Do you smell it, Kenzie? Not yet. Kenzie ain't had this candy in forever. A long time. We make a I think lot the of last them. time I had it was when Nanny made it. Yeah. At Easter. Yeah. Or Christmas memories. or something. That's good memories to have yeah. with her. Yeah. Now she's she's calling Nanny my patty. That's who Angie they were talking about earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Someone said if they use a thermometer, what temperature would they need to get it to? Around two thirty four. That's a softball stage. Now. Yeah. So what I'm doing. Hmm. Let her do it. I can't do that. Yeah. See, we did a team. All oh, Rogers behind us. <laughs> you can't get it now. They bring you up. I remember that smell. Oh, now I smell it. Smell it. It's, it's looking good. Now, the new method, they put marshmallow cream in it. Yeah. But we I don't like it. it like that. See how that does? Now, uh, I had some people ask me if you could use a mixer. You can. You can also set this down in some cold water if you want it, but it really don't take it that long to set up. As you can see, see that edge there? See how it's losing its gloss a little bit? Mm. It's fixing that button up. Where's Jean at, Roger? They went to the Home Depot. They went to the Home has been working on their bathroom, so... Uh, my husband is a handyman. He's helping them out. All right, so that there, guys, this will set up. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the dish. Because if I keep stirring it, it's going to get so hard that I can't stir it. And then once you get it like that, it's hard to get out. <laughs> and you got to have good manpower. <laughs> Look at that. One of these big spoons. I will need it. Yum. Just give me the milk. Mommy's gonna lick. Too. It was. Right. That's what she right. burned. You burn your tongue, Mama. About a cup, two heaping tablespoons <laughs> of peanut yeah, butter. Peanut butter, creamy. This is creamy. Yep, that's candy. And I like Jeff. Oh boy. I want the bowl. That's my favorite part. Yeah. Somebody asked me the other day why I didn't clean my bowl all the uh, kittle all the way out. <laughs> That's because <of> me. Because <laughs> I always left a little for my baby. Yeah, that's the best part too. <laughs> Mamma's got the spoon. Alright guys, if you look at that. Now my dish is buttered. Mm. You can put it in the refrigerator if you want. And, but this is set up pretty quick. It's already starting to do it's it best this way in my opinion i don't like it cold i like it warm 
Yes. Like right, like right now. Yeah, Kenzie does. You just get a spoon and uh, she will upload the recipe under the recipe section well, in the album. Mommy taste it. Boom. Look at that, Andy Roof. I'm a beast. This is what Mama. Good. It's good. How's it taste, Mama? Good. It is good, y'all. Mm. It's so good. I'm licking it there. It's good. Yeah. This is the best part about it. Yeah. Everybody's getting some but me. Yeah. Look at this spoon. Oh, we'll let you. Lick I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can lick Kittle. Here. Kenzie's gonna lick Kittle and get a taste. All right, I have some questions. Your candy. I'm gonna get this. Um, darling, said she was sorry that you lost your sister, mom. Oh, no, no. And mom lost her oldest sister this year and her brother, and she lost Aunt Patty what two years ago. <clears throat> she dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. Yeah. So Kenzie's <laughs> gonna lick some of the kittle. Mom spilt water everywhere. Water. All right, Kenzie. Mm -hmm. Kenzie's good at critiquing. Uh, it's gonna be crumbly. Yeah. That, yeah. Good. So this is if, usually what you leave back on the pot is how it's gonna turn out once it sets. Good. But that's it, guys. That is old fashioned. Peanut butter candy. Some people call it fudge, which is the same difference, but we always call it candy. Good. And see how she's scraping the edge? When you get it out of the kittle, and if it looks like that, then it's going to turn out. If you want it brick more brickly, Mom calls it brickly, you is can boil it. Word? I think it is. <laughs> I've never heard that. Well, mommy does well, call yeah, well, mommy calls it brickly. If you want it a little more grainier, I guess, or brickly. Probably crumblier cook it just a couple minutes longer if you want it but i'm telling you uh, if 234 degrees on the thermometer if you have the thermometer if not you can go back and watch the replay and watch me um test it in the water but that's how we were taught to make it lord if i ate all your good cook can i weigh 400 pounds <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, my daddy is not a diabetic. Mommy ain't either. Dad will eat probably a good amount of this. And it's Bugs. something, yeah. My nephew, um, and oh, it'll get eaten. Yeah. I won't eat it, I promise. Lincoln. I can't eat that much of it. Uh, I try to stay away myself, but um, it always, it don't go to waste, that's for sure. I miss doing this interview with my mom. Yeah, I treasure doing stuff with her. She's she still likes to cook, and she does a good job. So I want to show you all what it looks like before we get off. Thank you guys for watching, and I do thank you for sharing. That means a lot. Mom really enjoys. Um, Mom enjoys it, guys, and she's uh, she uh, she always asks what we're going to make next. So we got a lot of things up our sleeve to make you all. Christmas is coming up. Uh, there's a lot of recipes we're going to be sharing, so we've been kind of busy. Mom and has been working on their house a little bit, so, but while we's over here, we figured we would, um, share this with you all and come into your house this e this afternoon and show y'all how we make old-fashioned peanut butter candy. Now this, if you're going back, just watch the replay, you'll be able to see the technique, but I am going to share this recipe. Just give me a give me a few minutes, give me about an hour or so, and I'll put it in the album section. Um, in the albums, and it's titled Recipes. Okay? You can always go back from the beginning. Yeah, and you can always it. go back and screenshot. Kenzie Good showed Kenzie. it quite a few times. That's how it's going to get. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, that'll be the way it's supposed to turn out. <laughs> yeah, if you get some off your spoon, see how that turned out? I'm going to take a bite. Mmm, it's good. Good it is really good. Yeah. So if you want to make the chocolate version, I do have a video that I did upload uh, probably about a week ago. And it's called Old Fashioned Chocolate Fudge. And it's basically like this, but it's made with cocoa. Now, I do add peanut butter in that too. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to add the peanut butter to it. But if you go back and watch, you'll be able to see it. 
So, all right, guys, we're going to get off of here, and we're going to tell you all good night. Let me tell Mom. She's over here tidying up. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you all for watching. Mom, enjoy this, Missy. Don't forget. Vicki, I did sing Oh, Holy Night. If you go on to my personal page, you all are welcome to go and follow me on my personal page. I have a personal Facebook that I do a lot of singing on. I don't always share my singing on this page. But if you go, I did, uh, when was it, Tuesday night, I did some Christmas songs. So if you go by on my personal page, you can follow me on there and watch. I do share singing on there um, when I can. And you can go back and watch it. Thank you for your chocolate recipe. Well, you're welcome. Y'all welcome. Yep. Y'all have a good night too. Mom enjoys this. We had a we had a good time making candy with you all. Your mom is precious. They said you're precious, Mom. Well, you, all, you all are too. You all are too. Yeah. Love, love you, baby girl. <laughs> yeah. Blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. Just home, down, home, cooking. Just good. Yeah, there you go. Straight from the horse's mouth from Mommy Annie. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care.